love this thing is sick. This stuff's so much fun. If you're just thinking about watching, get a race car, watching this video, just freaking do it, man. God, this is so sick. All right, welcome back to the second episode I've got with the new Mustang. If you haven't seen the first episode, it's a 99 Mustang with an LS swap, 88 millimeter turbo that makes a thousand wheel horsepower. Today is gonna be the first day I take it out for a drive on the street. I wanna test it out, see how she does. I'm gonna drive it to the gym. I am taking it on race week and I know there's a few things we need to dial in, like get a bigger radiator, switch some hoses around, get a bigger fuel tank, but I at least wanna take it on a test drive today to see how it does. Okay, so one of the things I need to do is put a clamp on this intercooler line. Right now it comes off pretty easily and I don't want any water coming out underneath me when I'm driving, so I'm just gonna put a clamp around here as one of my uh, pre-flight checklist items. But I also need to top off the ice box with some water because right now it is empty. Right now it's just this snap-on box in the passenger seat. I am gonna get a five gallon cell for the ice box that I'm gonna put in the back. But right now you can just see it's completely empty. Another thing I'm gonna do is top off the radiator. Let's see where it's at. There's some water in there, but it won't hurt to top it off. That sit for a couple minutes. Obviously, you need to get some water in here for the intercooler. And then I need to put some fuel in it. I also got a laptop finally because right now the Terminator has the can line cut. So if I'm not running with a laptop, then I have no way to see what my engine temp is, my trans temp, anything like that, my oil pressure. I do have an oil pressure gauge on the dash, but I wanna have the computer as a backup. That way if I see anything going wrong, I can shut the car down right away. Okay, this thing does run on E85. So I went and got some E85. I'm gonna to top off the fuel cell. It is only a four gallon fuel cell and I'm driving about probably 20 miles round trip so as long as i don't get too crazy i should be fine on fuel let's see where we're at god every time i have taken on one trip down the street and definitely need to top that off Almost let her overflow. Oh my God. I forgot I was filling up the gas and I had the water, the hose in this thing and I almost let it overflow, but actually it's still uh, below the return. So I should be all right there, especially when it's on a pump. While we're back here, my plans for this, I got, I'm gonna get it fabbed out before race week is this is the existing fuel cell for the 85. I'm gonna move this over to one side and then probably do a 20 gallon fuel cell over here for pump gas for when we're driving down the street since E85 isn't at every fuel station. It'll be easy to have my pump gas that I drive on since we're gonna be driving a couple thousand miles and then my E85 on one side. And then I'm thinking about doing a, an ice box down in the well if I can't fit another five gallon cell up here with the five and the 20. So we'll see how it all comes together. I am gonna do a firewall in between me and all the fuel cells. It also has this built-in air compressor that is used for the boost controller. So, you know, probably move all this stuff around, give myself the most amount of space because for race week, we have to bring all of our tools and equipment with us. So if anything breaks on the car, we can fix it on the fly. And I don't plan on pulling a trailer. So I need the most amount of space I can have. Since the car is already gutted, if I can keep this back seat 
as storage and maybe put the firewall like right here and come up with the fuel cells back there it could work out pretty well also this cage is going to be redone there's some uh if i want to get it sorted some of these welds have a lot of weld instead of meeting pipe to pipe contact getting it real sturdy gonna do a chromoly cage that way i can get it sorted i'll probably do an 850k so if any of you guys follow me on instagram or you've seen any of my other videos i have a 96 12 valve ram so i'm gonna bring some of my tools out of here all right a few things i'm gonna throw in the car with me i just got this set off amazon i put the link in the description below if you want one of these they're super cheap they always come in handy never know when you need them jumper cables toe strap and then i've got this box of toolkit i'll put a, this uh, link to the description for the, a link in the description for this thing as well because this thing is freaking awesome all right so i've got everything ready to go i've got it full of gas i filled up the ice box with water topped off the radiator put that hose clamp on there now all i gotta do is grab the computer and i think that's it we're ready to hit the road like i said it's only about a 20 mile drive round trip so pump to see how it does for the first 20 miles because i know we're gonna have a lot more together ahead of us we're doing it We did run into one issue I found is we are leaking gear oil, so I ordered a new gasket for the rear end. Also, when I got here, the car wasn't shifting out a second, it was staying in second. So I tried to back up into the stall. I mean, I would move the shift lever, but it wasn't clicking into gear. So I don't know if the trans is getting too hot. We need to reposition the, the trans cooler or what, but I let the car cool down. I worked out. Let's see how she does. but I need to do some more road testing with this thing. Overall, made it to our destination, cooled it down, drove it home. Freaking so sweet. Did a few pulls, really starting to get to getting a feel for the car and freaking pumped for what is to come with this thing. So make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment. Thanks for watching. See you later.